Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller with PA Creative. This week's video and tutorial is a little different. I'm explaining in this video why there are so many bugs that happen in WordPress or in Divi or in our plugins or in that plugin or anything. So let's take a look. I made a list of factors that are important to understand if you're using WordPress and it's just, um, it's, it's important to understand why bugs happen. Um, many times, you know, when you're contacting support or you're working with a developer, you're, you, you can get frustrated, like, or it can seem like, you know, what's, what's going on? Why are there always bugs? Why is there a new bug? Why, what are these updates for? All these things, right? So let's understand it. And you can understand it. It's very simple, um, but it's simple. The answer is simple, but this simple answer is that it's complex. Um, it's because there are literally millions and that may be a low number there could be billions of scenarios that can happen only on your website that are not happening on my website if i have one thing different that changes everything so i would have to have a an exact clone of your site um but there are no websites that are exact clones um but there are millions of variables you know things with hosting and and uh, you yeah, know, the servers and WordPress and versions of plugins and, oh, there's just so much. Okay, now there's one thing that I need to address. I've seen people comment, like, about Elegant Themes. Um, this is, I'm a, you know, I'm a Divi creator here, so we're talking about Divi. I've seen people say things like, um, they don't test their updates, or we as users are basically their beta testers. Um, those statements are ridiculous. <laughs> They're super naive. Um, they're just ignorant. I, I'm just going to put it bluntly. Um, if you think that, you're not understanding a lot of things. So that's, hopefully this, this post will help you understand if, that's, if, if you are someone who thinks that. And if you see those kind of comments, hey, share this post with them. All right. Another thing that sometimes comes up, not a whole lot, but sometimes, you know, since I create a lot of Divi plugins, I'll have, you know, customer support and someone will say, hey, I have this issue. And, you know, the thing is, we'll check it and fix it. Um, sometimes they'll say, well, no, I'm not giving you access because you can just replicate it on your end and then you don't need to touch my website. I don't allow that. I'm thinking, wow, if only it was that simple. If we could replicate it on our end, the bug wouldn't exist because we already would have fixed it. So... <laughs> It, it, there's a big misunderstanding there. Um, the, like, I would say, and I think I'm, I'm being generous, but 95% of the time, we cannot replicate the issue. Um, in fact, it's probably much higher, 98% maybe. Like, you'll say something, and I'll check it. Like, you'll have some issue, and I'll be like, well, I haven't seen this before. A lot of times, I'll end up replying and say, I've never heard of this, and I'm being genuine. I haven't. Um, and, and so there's a lot of things that we cannot replicate and so they're only happening on your site. If you're wondering how that could be, let's continue. Here's 19 factors that I wrote. Plugin compatibility, you know, WordPress has a, a, an extensive library of plugins. There's, oh, I don't even know how many. In fact, let's check, see if we can see how many plugins there are. Does it tell us? Oh, here we go, browse 50. 9,651 free plugins. Now this is free plugins. Almost 60,000. Now that's just the free plugins. A lot of these have a paid version or a lot of them are only paid. There could We could be talking 100,000 different plugins in the world for WordPress. Right there, take every one of those plugins if it's installed and think of the many times it could be installed Let's say you had 60,000 of them installed, and then you take one out. Then you take another out and put the other one in. You're, you're creating multiples, so it could be billions of scenarios. Okay, so that's why I say about plugin compatibility is a big thing. A lot of times you'll see people saying, well, is there a plugin conflict? This is why they're asking, because there's just so many variables. Outdated plugins, obviously be sure to keep plugins updated. A lot of plugin developers update a plugin because there was some bug that was reported to them and they fixed it. So you, you should update your plugins. Or like a combination of plugins. I guess I already hinted at this, but yeah, just depending on how they're combined. Like 
you may have a plugin that it works completely bug free in one environment, but that plugin is causing a conflict with another one in another environment. Um, it's just, yeah. So um, Divi theme updates, you know, I have a link here, how to update Divi if you're not familiar with the proper process. So Divi, similar to plugins, they update, you know, when there's improvements and obviously new features um, and bug fixes. So you really should stay on um, one of the most recent versions of Divi. You don't always have to be on the latest, maybe, maybe two to three back if it's like little bug fixes, but um, yeah, in general, you should be on the latest major version of Divi. Um, theme conflicts. So something may be conflicting with the Divi theme with some other code or a plugin, you know, anything like that. Or with WordPress, right? And then there's WordPress updates. So WordPress updates are really critical because they may introduce some new feature that takes away a feature in Divi or in one of like, our plugins or another plugin. And so updating it, it, WordPress can lead to like a chain reaction where now you've got to update, now Elegant Themes has to update something, or now I've got to update something, or another plugin's got to update something. And so WordPress updates can kind of bring a lot of those things. So yeah, that's why there's bugs, because of updates, even though the update was well intended. PHP versions, I've seen this a lot lately. Um, a lot of stuff that works on 7.4 may not work on 8.1 or 2 or whatever it is. And, and you know, then there's conflicts where um, you'll have certain errors showing or like a, uh, a depreciated warning, warnings like notices in PHP. So that's all related to PHP versions. Um, and so this is, again, why there's bugs and issues because there's uh, so many factors. Like how many versions of PHP are there? Not too many. Think about, you know, if you have version 7.4 with another plugin, but that plugin was updated for 8.0, and so one of the plugins is up, was updated for 8.2, and so now you've got all these, like, discrepancies, and so, again, these are things that lead to bugs. Custom code. You may have jQuery or CSS or PHP added somewhere, or a developer or somebody you worked with may have added code, and that may be conflicting with any of the other things. <laughs> Okay, um, your hosting server. So some servers just are not up to par. Uh, should I say a lot or not? Um, a lot or not. Um, be sure to check out this link. I have our recommended hosting providers for Divi. If you do not have a good enough host, you're gonna have a lot of problems. And, and so you may try to blame it on a plugin or on Divi or on whatever. And it's really the host's fault. You know, it's just not good enough. Caching, now isn't this the, the, the grand finale of them all, really? Caching is just the thing that is probably the first thing we say anytime there's an issue, like, did you clear your cache? Um, it's just something that will get you. Cache is a good thing. Cache, the intention of cache is to, you know, optimize your local environment and for other people who are browsing your site. But if you're making updates to your website, the cache may be showing you something that's not updating properly or make it stuck. You know, there's all these things with caching. So I have a link here, how to clear your Divi website cache. Similarly, a content delivery network, a CDN, will have cache and that cache may be outdated. Um, I run into this problem a lot, but it's basically saying, like showing a different version of the whole website to a visitor than, may, than what you may be seeing. So you may have a, someone visiting your site and saying, I see this or that. And it's like, we're like, why are these, these problems? Well, it could be related to the CDN. And then there's browsers. So different browsers depending. I mean, this isn't a real common, but it does happen sometimes where an issue will only appear in a certain browser. So like, for example, if you see it in Chrome, but not in Firefox, just as an, as an example, there's probably something there related to like Chromium or not. You know, Firefox is not based on Chromium, whereas like Edge and, and Chrome are. Um, Safari is not. So like if you may see different issues depending on browser compatibility. So always check on different browsers. Uh, one thing that I have noticed is like optimization plugins. So there's plugins that will try to optimize JavaScript especially and CSS too, but, and so what they do is they over-optimize it and they'll actually end up blocking something. 
Um, I know that happens sometimes with like our carousel plugin, for example. Um, you they'll have a customer saying, "Well, the carousel isn't working when I view it," and I'll and I'll look, and here it's the code to literally run it is being blocked by the the optimization plugin. Like it's literally saying, "Don't run this code." It's like, but the code is needed in our plugin to run the carousel. So things like that can lead to quote bugs. Um, but yeah, be, be mindful of that. Oh, a user error. You know, no, none of us, this doesn't apply to any of us, but um, <laughs> if someone else were to have and, you know, make a mistake, <laughs> um, no, uh, just maybe there's just something, a mistake, right? And it can, it can lead to problems. So there's just, it could have been a developer that made a mistake. It could have been a mistake I made in one of my plugins. And it's like, you have to point it out to me. And I'm like, oh, that was a mistake, right? You know, it, it happens. So third-party integrations, that's going to depend on the type of website you have and what all you're connecting, maybe APIs, but um, these are possibilities, you know, depending on what you, you're working with. Security vulnerabilities, maybe you've been hacked, maybe you have malware, and maybe that's like literally messing up the display of your site. So again, these are things that are all factors into why you might have bugs on a website. Maybe your website is very resource intensive or you're doing like an export or an import and it's stalling. And you know, this could be something to do with the server or the server thinks that it's doing something wrong. The server may block something because it looks suspicious because why is it so intense? Like why is it requiring all this? You know, there's things like that to consider uh, when, you're, when you're dealing with, with bugs. Um, complex workflows like, you know, for example, when someone purchases a product on my website, it, it ends up, it's creating a new user, it's registering them in WordPress, it's also fulfilling the order details, it's doing a lot of things. There's a whole lot of things that take place when you purchase a product and check out. And then there's the payment processing as well. So yeah, there's just complex workflows and there can be problems in that. And then there's like external attacks, which that's mostly related to like the security vulnerabilities. But um, if you have, um, like yeah like let's say you're trying to load your site and it's not loading it could be be faced with um, a, a ddos attack and that's just something that a cdn like cloudflare could block for you um, or a security plugin so anyway this is just a list of things um i do have this source that i recommend to anyone how to fix divi kind of goes over a lot of these things like common things um, and then i have other troubleshooting guides in fact let's take a look so here is like the troubleshooting category of my tutorials. So you like fixing code errors, console errors, the save has failed issue, that's a big one. Uh, why am I missing a style sheet? You know, clearing cache, image is not working, version rollback, how to fix this issue. Like, you know, a whole bunch of issues here um, that I have tutorials about. All right, so anyway, hope that answers the question. Anytime someone comes to me and complains about a bug, I'm going to send them a link to this, so. Um, or maybe I'll post this on Facebook if I see people complaining about Divi and it's just it just kind of gets annoying because it shows a lack of understanding but hopefully this can provide some information and create more awareness and understanding that there are a lot of factors millions and probably billions of factors that may only be affecting you and that's the whole point of this just to get that message across that you know there's just a lot going on and, and these are things that we keep in mind when we're troubleshooting. Like there's so many things related to support that you do um, to troubleshoot issues. So these are all related things to help you understand maybe what, what someone like me would go through if you have a problem with one of our plugins or with an elegant theme support agent, what they would think through when you have an issue. Like these are all things to consider. It probably is not an issue with Divi. Um, it's probably one of these things. So it's just something to keep in mind. So. Hope you enjoyed this. We normally do actual tutorials, so hope you like that. Check our other content, and we'll see you all in the next video.